Sex er sjovt, og for det meste er det helt uforpligtende. De fleste kønssygdomme kan helbredes med lidt penicillin og en vatpinde. Og det er godt, for i Danmark er vi generelt ikke ret gode til at bruge kondom. Der er selvfølgelig den uhelbredelige HIV-virus, men det er ikke længere noget, man dør af, hvis bare man får den rette medicin. I Zambia er det der med den rette medicin lidt sværere. En femtedel af den voksne befolkning er smittet med HIV, og det fører naturligt nok til, at rigtig mange udvikler AIDS og dør i en ung alder. Den forventede levealder i Zambia er helt nede på 38 år. Derfor er der også mange forældreløse børn i Zambia. 16-årige Josephine er en af dem. Hun bor på et børnehjem i den fattigste del af hovedstaden Lusaka. You ready to go to school? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I join? Ja. Yeah. Okay. Which classes are you going to have today? Science. Science. Oh. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. It's okay? Mm -hmm, but I hate maths. You hate maths. <laughs> I used to do that too. I Zambia er der en stærk tradition for, at onkler og tanter lader deres nivøer og niæser flytte ind, hvis forældrene dør. Men desværre sker det ofte, at de ikke bliver behandlet lige så godt som familiens egne børn. Så det er din skole, det er Aha. I'll find you afterwards. Okay? Mm. But you have a nice day. Nice day. <laughs> Sådan var det for Josephine, da hun efter forældrene stød flyttede ind hos sin onkel og tante. Hendes tante lod altid sine egne børn komme i første række. Men en dag kom Mrs. Malik på besøg. Hun driver flere børnehjem i slumkvartererne i Lusaka. And we found them at lunch. There were more than six of them. The auntie with her children and then Josephine. They were sitting in a group the way we Africans sit, you know, sit in a group and you eat together. They were all eating together in one plate. But Josephine, even if he was, she was in that circle, you know, Telling the world that they are all one family. Josephine had her own plate, her own cup, and her own everything on the side. Eating alone in a group. You know, you would be feeling lonely even when you are in a crowd. And that was Josephine. Mrs. Malik sørgede for at få Josephine på børnehjem og skaffede donorer, så hun kunne komme i en god skole. Men Josephine kæmper med lektierne, for der er store huller i hendes viden fra den gang hun boede hos tanten og onklen. At school was the last one to pass. If I had to walk up around five hours to clean the house. Uh, by the time I finish everything, when I bath, I to, uh, prepare for going to school, it was too late. As a result, I stopped doing well at school. The way my auntie uh, treats me, it was different from the way she, she used to treat my cousins. Josephine began to have a at det ikke kun var fordi hun var forældreløs, at hun blev behandlet anderledes. I was having a heart problem, like that's why my that's what my aunt told me. My grandma had a heart attack. My grandma never used to take medicine every day, but myself I used to take medicine day and night, and let's say from after six hours and eighteen hours. For kun en måned siden måtte Mrs. Malik få tanten til at sige sandheden, at Josephine har HIV. I was seated on a chair, then I was angry looking at Mrs. Malik and thinking about my auntie. I wish they, they had never told me. For nogle år siden blev HIV-medicin gjort gratis i Zambia, så mange HIV-smitte nu kan forvente at leve et nogenlunde normalt liv, hvis de ellers spiser sundt og på præcise klokkeslet og aldrig holder op med at tage medicin. De krav er svære at leve op til for mange, især i perioder, hvor maden er knap. Men for Josephine ser fremtiden stabil ud, så hun har en rigtig god chance. Men hun vil altid være begrænset af, at omgivelserne tager afstand fra HIV-smittet. Um, in our language, we have a saying to say, once the water spills, you can't put it back in the cup. So let's move forward. And so I called the, our home best care coordinator. She's also HIV positive. She came, they talked. That's when I saw a bit of change in Josephine. I saw a smile on her face because it's like the lady told her to say, look, I am also HIV positive. I'm also on medication. There's nothing wrong with that. HIV is not a disease, it's a condition. In the future, I want to be a social worker. I need to do things like a social worker, like 
just like Mrs. Malik. Mm -hmm. I need to have a, a heart for others.